we on? La 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 la. Let's see. Uh, yes, we are. Okay, cool. Hello, everybody. It's Gravity the Ghost, and uh, we got another Pokemon Presents like last week. Uh, we got about five minutes to go. Uh, they said that they're doing this presentation to reveal a new big project. A lot of people are thinking it's going to be Let's Go to Johto. Some people are saying it's uh, the Gen 4 remakes. Um, some people think it's Pokemon Sleep. I don't know. <laughs> All I'm going to say is I'm ready to be disappointed. <laughs> like, because I don't really, I really don't know what will happen. Like, I had this random idea pop up in my head, basically, where I was like, what if they took the idea of Pokemon Journeys, which is the new anime, which basically they're just going uh, region hopping. What if they did that for an actual Pokemon game where you're going re like hopping from region to region? I mean, I don't think Pokemon would ever do a game where you go to every region in one game. Unless that'd be like the swan song of the Pokemon series. Uh, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. But <laughs> I don't think that would happen. But if that did happen, I'll be like, all right, I'm the one that predicted it. <laughs> uh, but other than that, I can't really think of anything. I mean, I guess those three ones are the most likely to happen. Let's go to Johto, Gen 4 Remakes, or um, Pokemon Sleep. But I feel like Pokemon Sleep would be something that you would reveal maybe in a like kind of press conference type of thing like they did last year. But then, you know, coronavirus. But <laughs> I'm sure Pokemon Smile would have been revealed in a press conference too. But, you know, coronavirus. <laughs> uh <clears throat> So, if they did reveal Let's Go to Johto, I assume it would probably be roughly the same style and style of gameplay as Let's Go. Because I mean, if that's the case, I probably won't be buying it because I really did not like Let's Go EV was probably even though you know it's Let's Go it's Pokemon, but still it was probably one of the few Pokemon games that I just did not enjoy. Like I grew bored of it super fast. Um, I mean, I even gave up on the playthrough I was doing because my Joy-Cons were acting up, and sometimes the motion didn't even work. And I was like, you know what, I'm just playing this game. Every If I ever play this game, I'm just doing it in handheld mode. Because I can't. <laughs> and then, you know, if we do the Gen 4 remakes, are they going to have it to where it's a it's going to be grid-based? Kind of like how Oras was, but then again, you know... When Oras was being made, that was when the X and Y era where it was still grid-based. They went off grid-based when it was Sun and Moon. So, it probably wouldn't be, but... Mm. Like, I also had this cool idea to where... You know how, like, that post-game area on, like, the... was it, like, the left, the upper right-hand corner? It's, like, composed of three islands. I think it's called, like, the uh, the battle area, the survival area, and something else. But they all have area in the name, and I'm like, hmm, this generation you had the wild area, which was a, uh, you control the camera type thing. So what if that entire island is a wild area, and just those three different areas are wild areas? That would be pretty crazy. And you get this, if they do do the Gen 4 remakes, <laughs> they have to do the Battle Frontier, no matter what. They have to. It was in Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. Not like how in Gen 3, where Ruby and Sapphire just had Battle Tower, and Emerald had the Battle Tower, had the Battle Frontier. Gen 4 had the Battle Frontier right off the bat, they have to do it. <laughs> Which makes me happy. <laughs> Even though I like the, the Gen 3 Battle Frontier facilities better, um, but I do like the Battle Hall and the Battle Arcade, especially the Battle Arcade. It was so much fun. I know a lot of people don't like having like random afflictions happening to their team or the other team, but I think it brings makes it a lot more fun. <laughs> and I hope for an Easter egg if they do Gen 4 Remix, they make the HP bar go super slow like the original game. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> but the question is, will they keep will they keep the Gigantamax mechanic for Gen 4? Because it would be a little weird given how the gyms and the Elite Four doesn't really have a stadium type thing in their gyms. Okay, it's starting, but it's going to be the premiere. <laughs> so I heard of a hack that someone did that actually, it actually worked. 
<laughs> Wait, I'm gonna let it load. <laughs> Hello? Play like doesn't begin shorting before I restarting. Oh man. No! Oh! So get this. <laughs> Someone literally did this. <laughs> you can set the playback speed <laughs> to times two and make it go faster. <laughs> You can literally just cheat the system! <laughs> this is hilarious. Let me turn this down. Oh, it just... It went back to normal. What if I do it again? Oh my gosh, it's hilarious. <laughs> we cheated YouTube. <laughs> Besides, this song is super annoying anyway. I don't like it. It also gets super loud out of nowhere, like... <laughs> Alright, I'll let the last 30 seconds stand on its own. Whatever. It's always weird how they just don't have the live chat on. They didn't do that for the last Pokemon Presents. And I'm like, where's the hype? I mean, over 200,000 people are watching, right? Almost 200,000. But I'm sure a lot of those people are watching other people stream and react to it. But, you know, no one watches me, because, ooh. <laughs> I love how in the recommended right down here it says official Disney XD Africa. I'm like, what? Alright, let's do this. Ishihara, what you got for us? Let's go to Johto! <laughs> oh, we got a trailer right off the bat? Hello. I'm Kamikaze Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Oh, let me turn it up. Was just released today. Cool. Cool beans. I hope you're all enjoying it. Oh, I haven't actually downloaded it. I'll should I oh well, maybe. Today, I would like to tell you about a new project we have been working on. Uh oh. To begin, please take a look at this video. What if I don't want to? Pokemon made people trade together ah uh, they're gonna have another one of these <laughs> these uh, <laughs> uh, they're gonna have another one of these uh montages battle together okay we got Pokemon tournament we got the card game and the video game i'm wondering what the what's up with this connect together i don't know i'm i'm kind of i'm a little curious now i'm like i don't know now i'm like i don't know and now wait what's this the first po wait is it a Pokemon MMO Nani hold up what a Pokemon MMO what <laughs> with 10 cents so that's what it was Bruh. Mr. Ishihara, thank you for the kind introduction. Hello, everyone. I'm Steven Ma from Tencent. As a Pokemon fan myself, I'm really happy to be able to announce this project. The Unite in Pokemon Unite represents the gameplay concept of players coming together with a shared goal. Through our shared pursuit of innovative gameplay and quality, Bro, they did it. <laughs> you were like, oh, we want Pokemon to be an MMORPG. Well, I guess we got it, kinda. We are committed to our search for undiscovered potential in game development. And this also holds true in our partnership with the Pokemon Center. Ha ha ha, no Gen 4. No, let's go to Johto. Yes. Let us work on many good titles to this project. I am confident that this collaboration between Timmy Studios and the Pokemon Company is sure to spark new creativity. <laughs> Watch it be a mobile game only. Steven, thank you very much. The development concept behind Pokemon Unite was to create a cooperative Pokemon, Pokemon game, game that anyone could pick up and enjoy immediately, but also has a lot of depth to be played over and over again. Tencent Games, Timmy Studio. I want to see the gameplay, specifically like, like in depth. That with Pokemon to create an all-new experience in Pokemon Unite. 
Next, I would like to have the producer of Pokemon Unite, Mr. Hoshino, show more of the game to you all. I'm Masaaki Hoshino from the Pokemon Company, producer of Pokemon Unite. All right, let's see what you got. I see a Gengar and a Machamp plushie. The defining trait of the game is its real-time team battles, featuring the most Pokemon seen in a single battle yet, with two teams of five Pokemon each. So it's a 5v5. Cooperate together to defeat the opposing team. This is the layout of the battle arena. Your team's side is on the left, while your opponent's side is on the right. <clears throat> on each team's side, there are a total of five goals, or scoring areas. Catch okay. Catch Pokemon that inhabit the field to score points. So you catch Pokemon to earn points. Interesting. The goal of the game is to score more points than your opponents within the time limit. The Pokemon you control begins each battle at level one. <laughs> By defeating wild Pokemon in the field, you level up and then you slow. And let me guess, as you reach a certain level, you le you evolve. As well as learn new moves. Interesting. You to choose which moves your Pokemon learns as it levels up. Focus on close range attacks, or choose to optimize for long range capabilities. Even with the same Pokemon, you can choose how you want to battle. Once you reach a high enough level, you can unlock moves unique to this game called Unite Moves. Ooh. Some can deal a lot of damage to multiple opponents at once. Each Pokemon has a different Unite Move with powerful effects. Choosing when to use your Unite Move and attempting to read when the opponent will use theirs is part of the Angie Snorlax. <laughs> use tactics like surrounding opponents that approach your base. Or sneaking around back to the opponent's side's goal to score while a teammate has the So what happens with the Pokemon you catch? Is very important in order to defeat your opponents. To make it easier for players to enjoy battling with others in Pokemon Unite, we will be releasing it as a free to start game for Nintendo Switch and mobile devices. Yeah, I thought that. I thought that was going to happen. Also support cross platform play. Okay. I hope you will look okay. forward to the release of Pokemon Unite. All right, so was that it? This is the first strategic team-based Pokemon battle game. I imagine some of you may be wondering how the game will actually play. Uh, yeah, I'm like, huh? Show you some gameplay with ten players. Here is the group who will be joining my team. Shoka Nakagawa from a, a singer. A riddle solving content creator. Oh, 2019 Pokémon Tournament Champion. Video content creator. And here are our opponents. A voice actress. Scott, Anna, David, <laughs> they just did not waste any time with the other people. It's like, nope, you don't know, you're not important. <laughs> I'm Corey, and I'll be your commentator for today's match. And I have the producer of the game, Mr. Hoshino, here, too, to provide commentary. Thanks. I'm happy to join you. <laughs> this is kind of, <laughs> this is kind of amusing. <laughs> so there's only 10 Pokemon that you can play as. So it looks like it's Venusaur, Charizard, um, Blastoise, Pikachu, Clefairy, Gengar, Machamp, uh, Talonflame, Lucario, and Snorlax. Will there be more Pokemon at the lad? Or is it just those ten? Well, I mean, there was other Pokemon you could catch. I saw Stuffle. Um, I saw other ones. Is that a Rattata? are catching lots of wild Pokemon. Yeah, that's a stuffle. And we have our first score of the game. So you catch a Pokemon, and you'll have to go to the goal to, I guess, to, ret to retrieve the Pokemon there to earn points. Okay, that's a Joltik. That's a Machop. Oh, no, is that, or is that the Machamp? Because you start, remember, you start at level one. 
you can recover your HP. Okay. Talonflame has its sights on Pikachu. Pikachu couldn't get away, and Talonflame got the KO. Pikachu, I got Pikachu. Oof, good play. <laughs> I got Pikachu. If knocked out, it will recover after a brief amount of time. Norlax is trying to score a goal, but the opposing team's Clefable and Talonflame are trying to put a stop to it. If you get attacked while trying to score, you will be interrupted. Okay, trying to score is like you're waiting for a meter. I'm not real. I've never really played an MMO, so I'm. S I guess I'm. S this is still new to me. Amazing play. They expertly surrounded their opponents. They're all doing it on mobile. You can destroy goals. Goal destroyed. The opponents have fewer healing spots. Oh, okay. Interesting. So you can destroy your opponent's thing, um, and you can basically have them have limited places to score and heal. Pretty strategic, yeah. All points scored in the final two minutes are double. There's no telling who will end up winning this match. Oh, they're trying to heal up. Oh, that's Rotom. I mean, is it just called Unite Move, or do they have like a specific name? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I won't be mad if not, but it's weird. I wonder how this will control. On, I mean, if you do it on Switch, is it gonna be how it is for Cafe Makes, where it's gonna be handheld only, or is it gonna have actual controls? <laughs> Womp womp. I didn't know who was going to win right up until the very oh. end. He was using a switch. As you can see, it took a lot of teamwork to emerge victorious. <clears throat> Let me guess, it's like we'll be using the Nintendo Switch online app. <laughs> we are hard at work on Pokemon Unite to make it a game that we hope all of you will love. I mean I'd give it a shot. I don't know if I'll be good at it. <laughs> oh, they don't have. A, oh, they don't have a. They don't have a launch. Interesting. So, Pokemon Unite. It's a very interesting game. <laughs> With Tencent, terminology is not final. Game footage is not final. I guess that's it. <clears throat> so yeah. Hey guys, thanks for uh, watching this with me. Um, this is that was very interesting. I uh, I would give it a try. Um, we didn't get a release date, but pretty interesting. But I'm wondering if it's just gonna be the ten Pokemon, or if it's gonna be more Pokemon that you can choose to play as. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I said, you know how you start off every battle at level one. I I like that idea. How you're, it's not just straight up Charizard. It looks like you start off as Charmander, and then you eventually evolve into Charmeleon and then Charizard. But I, it didn't look like the case for a couple Pokemon. Like, it looked like they still started the battle as Lucario and Snorlax rather than Riolu and Munchlax. So maybe that's because they're baby Pokemon, but I don't know. But anyways, thanks for watching. This has been Gravity, and I'll see you guys in a future video. See ya!